The threat has been negated. Uh, walking through the crime scene was like being on the set of a movie. Uh, and as the mayor eloquently put, you just don't expect this to happen at home. This doesn't happen in Scambia County. It doesn't happen in Pensacola. So this morning, me and Samantha woke up to the sounds of gunfire, sirens in the distance, and missed calls. People were calling to check and make sure we were okay. We didn't even know what was going on. And then we flipped on the news and realized there was a mass shooter on Pensacola NAS, like less than a half a mile down the street. It, it was something unimaginable. Days ahead are going to be difficult. When, when it finally sinks in what has happened here. There was some true acts of heroism that went down this morning. The Sheriff's Department led the charge onto the Naval Air Station and disabled a mass shooter. So we have two officers at the Stanley County Sheriff's Office in the initial response uh, that negated the threat. They're now uh, in a local hospital. Uh, we expect them to fully recover. Uh, two of them got hurt. They're in the hospital. And I think there was like eight casualties all together hurt and as in you know eight people got wounded by the gunman two of the officers i think one got shot in the leg and the other one got shot in the arm and uh we're pretty sure they're going to pull through but this this was absolutely crazy and fathers today who will never recover from this day you you just don't think this is going to happen at your little bitty installation right here i mean this isn't like Fort Bragg or Hood or or Eglin Air Force Base. This is a little Pensacola Naval Air Station where the Blue Angels fly and and we just have flip flops and good suntans. Like who would have ever thought that somebody would shoot up our little base? I mean, half the time you don't even show your ID to go on post. And I guess that's not going to happen anymore. Things are about to change in what is our little quaint neighborhood. I mean, who shoots eleven people? So I want to show y'all something. Check this out. I got to explain. The shooting happened like right there. The sheriff's deputies came over this bridge, went right in here, all the way down to where like the necks and the movie theater and all that happened. That's where the show went down. That's like a thousand meters across here. Golf course is right there. The Blue Angels fly from right there. They come straight right behind this tree, like this wood line right here on the other side of the water, there's an airstrip right there. They come right over and then they go all the way along the beach to downtown Pensacola, Pensacola Beach, wherever they gotta go. That's how close all this is. This is like, my neighborhood is literally right across the water from where this went down. I'm doing this to let y'all know that we're okay. Pensacola's got a lot of stuff to figure out. This base is gonna be locked down like Fort Hood from now on, I'm sure. Uh, the base is closed and probably will be for a while. And they got a lot of security things they gotta figure out. People coming to see the Blue Angels, the air show happens right over here. Um, how do people get on base to play golf? Like, it, they're just gonna have to figure it out. It's gonna be locked down like Fort Hood. It's gonna be a crazy <laughs> next few months and uh, when Blue Angel season comes back around, they're gonna have to figure this out. So it's come out now that it was an act of terrorism. It's crazy how these things unfold while you're trying to record it in real time. Given that this was a foreign national in the employ of a foreign service is, uh, and, and there'll be time to do this, but but obviously the, the, the government of Saudi Arabia uh, needs to, to make, make things better for these victims. What do you think, Samantha? Sad. Sad, yeah. sad. It's gonna change our little town. Yep. It looks like a sure enough golfer right now. Maybe <laughs> it's all got her bag for her birthday. So after going through the Fort Hood shootings um, and seeing how much things change and the turmoil and everything, it, 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 it's gonna be agonizing. I hope everybody prays for the uh, sheriff's deputies and all the family members of the sailors and airmen and everything that were involved. Names still haven't come out. I don't, I don't even think they released the deputies' names that were hurt. Baptist was on lockdown in the hospital. They were doing all kinds of crazy protocols. It was totally, totally like earth shattering. Like Baptist was literally overloaded. They were on standby at Sacred Heart Hospital. And it was crazy the amount of doctors and surgeons and everything it took to handle it all at once. And it's really eye-opening to the whole event. A lot of our friends work at Baptist Hospital and Sacred Heart Hospital. They're doctors and nurses. And when you got to see, you know, how the community reacted firsthand, it really drove home the days of Fort Hood 
when some of my friends were working in the Fort Hood Hospital and all the casualties started coming in. You know, and then you start hearing, you know, through text messages and social media, all the crazy stories and the heroism and, and all the acts of valor everybody did to make sure the community did its part. You know, this vlog has always been about my life and my family's life and things that happen close to home. And this is something that has definitely hit close to home. When the sounds of gunfire echoes through your neighborhood, right here it really changes the way you want to do things and you realize life is finite and death can happen at any time and you know we're a town known for flip-flops sunscreen and the blue angels not mass shootings like when did this become a thing that everybody just shoots each other up you used to just go out back and wrestle a little bit not keep you all up to date with what's going on because it was literally right down the street All right, everybody, it's Samantha's birthday. Yay. Tell them how old you are. 34. Not supposed to tell them how old you are. You told me to. I'm not, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> not ashamed? No. So we're headed out for dinner. You one don't bar. have to be. Is that where we're going? Yeah, one bar. Okay. okay. Need a cheese board in my cheese. life. Cheese boards for days. No need to so we're at the wine bar. Check out the Christmas lights. They're see. everywhere. I've got a duck liver pate. and 